Hey folks, it's Mac again. Glad you could join me for this week's cybersecurity tips. This week, the seven red flags of phishing. Red flag number one, urgent or threatening language. Real emergencies don't happen over email. What to look out for? Pressure to respond quickly. Threats of closing your account or taking legal action. Red flag number two, requests for sensitive information. Anyone requesting personal information over email or text probably shouldn't be trusted with it anyway. What to look out for? Links directing you to login pages. Requests to update your account information. Demands for your financial information, even from your bank. Red flag number three. Anything too good to be true probably is. Winning the lottery is unlikely. Winning the lottery that you never entered? Well, that's impossible. What to look out for? Winnings from contests that you never entered. Prizes that you have to pay to receive. Inheritance from a long lost relative. Receiving that money grant that you never applied for. Yep, badness. Red flag number four, unexpected emails. Expect the unexpected and then send it right to the trash. What to look out for? Receipts for items that you didn't purchase. Updates on deliveries that you didn't order. Job offers for jobs you didn't apply for. <laughs> no, thank you. Red flag number five. Information mismatches. Searching for clues in phishing emails puts your love of true crime podcast to good use. What to look out for? Incorrect, but similar sender email addresses links that don't go to official websites, spelling or grammatical errors beyond the odd typo that a legitimate organization just wouldn't make. <laughs> Red flag number six, suspicious attachments. Attachments might seem like a gift in your inbox, but just like real gifts, they're not always good. What to look out for? Attachments you didn't ask for, weird file names and unknown file types. Red flag and number seven, unprofessional design. For some reason, hiring a graphic designer isn't on the cybersecurity's priority list. What to look out for? Incorrect or blurry logos. Company emails with little, poor, or no formatting. Image only emails, no highlightable text. Ew. Congratulations, you made it to the end. All right. Just remember, what do you do if you spot these red flags in your messages? Don't click any links. Don't reply or forward that email and don't open attachments. If you're unsure, when in doubt, throw it out.